Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Mugen Siki Racing. Today I'm going to show you the new MIP Bypass 1 shock pistons that are available now through MuginRacing.com as well as FlashpointRC.com. So let's take a closer look. So before we get into the details of the pistons and how they work and perform, I first want to show you kind of what you get when you buy the different shock piston sets. So we currently offer two. There is a six hole and an eight hole. And with that, you get four pistons, four stop washers, and a variety of uh, colored valves which control the rebound speed. So in the kit, you'll get green, blue, and clear. Uh, green being the fast, blue being medium, and clear being uh, a slightly slower rebound. And as far as the piston hole sizes go, like I said, six holes um, is the one set, and the hole size for those are 1.3. In the eight hole set, it comes with eight by 1.2 millimeter. And you can drill these holes to whatever desired size you want. We just felt this was a, a good option to start with. I would say for most most people, it would be best, if you're currently running 6-hole 1.3, I would start with 6-hole 1.3. The setup that I normally use is 3-holes 1.35, 3-holes 1.45 in the front, 3-holes 1.35, and 3-holes 1.50 in the rear. So if you're running that setup, right out of the box, I would drill these to be the same because I want, I want people to be able to experience the difference because of the valving, not a difference because of the setup. So currently, if you're running, like I, like I mentioned, my, my piston setup front and rear with 550 front, 400 rear, I would start with that same oil and same piston setup so that you can actually compare the difference between your current setup and also the new bypass one. We also do offer pistons by themselves where you can get two pistons. And then we also have a tuning valve set that comes with two additional colors. So an even faster tan rebound speed and a brown slower rebound speed. MIP is gonna release a bunch of information on, on these as well and it'll kind of give you uh, more of the percentages of change in compression versus rebound from their dyno results. But I just want to give you a quick overview and uh, first show you what you get. And then next we'll get into the advantages of using the Bypass 1 pistons. So I guess there's a few questions that come to mind with the Bypass 1 pistons. And the first would be, why would you want to use these? What's, what's the advantages to these versus standard piston? Well, with a standard piston, you have equal compression and rebound speed. With the Bypass 1 pistons, we're able to control the rebound speed separately from the compression speed. So essentially the outer holes that are not covered by the valves will be used to control pack and also to control how well your car lands. The valves will then be used to control how fast the shock rebounds. And the faster the shock rebounds, the faster it will basically keep the tires on the ground. It'll make the car a little bit more nimble. And typically when you have a faster rebound speed, it will be better in bumps, better in low grip conditions. And it'll allow the car to also recover faster. Now, hearing that, you're gonna think, well, why wouldn't I just want the fastest rebound speed possible? Always keep the tires on the ground, give me the most traction, best handling and bumps. Well, like with anything, there's a balance. So the lower the grip, the track, or the bumpier the track, the thinner the valves you'll wanna run. But as the grip comes up, because when the rebound speed is faster, it makes the car more nimble and agile, you'll want to slow down the rebound a little bit. Typically, I like to run the clear 7,000 color valve in the front 
and the blue 5,000th color valve in the back. So a little bit faster rebound speed on the rear than the front. If the track gets rough and the front of the car feels fine, it feels like it's absorbing the jumps good, you can adjust these individually. You may wanna then go to the green uh, to speed up the, the rebound speed in the back. But it's something to, to tune and play with to get your desired feeling that you want for your track. Another question would be, when would you wanna use these? And for me, it, that's everywhere. When I first started testing with the MIP Bypass 1 Pistons, it was something that I would go to when the track was lower grip and starting to get bumpy to allow the car to, uh, again, recover a little bit faster and give me a little bit more grip. Well, now that I've spent more time with them, I run the MIP Bypass 1 Pistons in all conditions in all of my vehicles. Buggy, truck, e-buggy, you name it. Now you may require a little bit different setup for the different vehicles or uh, different valving, but for me, the MIP Bypass 1 Pistons, again, just make the car more comfortable and easy to drive. You, you don't feel like as the track starts to deteriorate, you don't notice it as much because the pistons are able to work more than what a standard piston would. So I started working with the guys at MIP about a year ago uh, with the Bypass 1 Pistons for 8 scale. And this is technology that they've had and they've used in 10 scale for quite some time, but is now new to 8 scale. And I think the advantages are much bigger for 8 scale than 10 scale. Typically with 10 scale racing, the track conditions are a lot more of a controlled environment. There's a lot of indoor tracks, even the outdoor tracks are prepped and maintained really good. And eight scale tracks typically get rough. We, we run long races. You may start a, start a race with the track wet, it dries out, the track changes. And that's where I see the biggest advantage to the Bypass 1 Pistons. I don't feel like you're gonna always put these in and just your lap times are gonna be considerably faster. But what, what they do help with is as the track conditions change, your car doesn't change nearly as much. So this, this just helps as the track starts to deteriorate, as your tires start to wear, maybe diffs get hot and you're, typically your car would kind of start to go away. These help the car recover faster and just make it more comfortable and easy to drive. They also use this technology for the fifth scale cars and it's pretty much become a must have in fifth scale and I think eventually it will be that way for eight scale. So I'm gonna show you just a, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but just a kind of a close up of how the, the valve looks when it's installed. Again, I normally run a little bit thinner front than rear. I'm going to a race this weekend where I expect the track to be really rough, so I'm gonna start with a green valve in the rear, blue in the front, to run a little bit faster rebound than what I would normally run. Again, these are available now through MuganRacing.com as well as FlashpointRC.com. We also have setup sheets available from Ryan Mayfield, as well as myself at MuganRacing.com using the MIP Bypass 1 Pistons. So another cool feature I wanted to talk about using the color valves is that you can actually stack the valves. So like you see here, we have a three, four, five, seven, and 10 thousandths valve. Now there's not a six, there's not a nine thou. So if you wanted, you could stack three three thousandths to make a nine thou. You could stack two um, of the three thousandths to make a six thou, or two of the four to make an eight thou. So you can really, really fine tune the difference between compression and rebound. So the 10 thou brown is, is the thickest, and for the most part, this will make your shock feel like a traditional piston um, as far as 
equal compression and rebound. It's slightly faster rebound, but it's a very, very small percentage. So if you were to take, say, a brown and a green, essentially you're cutting off the rebound valves because it's now so thick that uh, you would essentially have a traditional piston. So if there is ever a condition where you're like, man, I, I don't know, I, I think uh, I want to try just going back to standard pistons, it's pretty simple. Just throw, throw a brown valve on top of the valve that you're currently running to make the valve valving thicker and slow down the rebound speed. And it'll give you a pretty quick and easy indication if you like it, you know, the standard pistons. But again, for me, I've had a lot of success with MIP Bypass 1 pistons. So is Mayfield, Mike Trury. Uh, we use these at the Roar Nationals. We used them at Silver State. We used them at the IFMAR World Championship. Uh, I used them at the Southern Nationals pretty much ever since uh, the Nationals earlier this year. They haven't come out of any of my vehicles. Earlier in the year, I was kind of going back and forth. And when the track was smooth, I would always start with standard pistons. And, you know, if it, if it got rough or the grip went away, then I would always try these. But about the time the Nationals came around, I was I had gained enough confidence in these to where even though the Nationals was really high grip and also pretty smooth, we still used the MIP Bypass 1 Pistons and had a lot of success at that event.